Okay, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, but let's get right to it. <clears throat> yes, I finally watched Joker. It took all this time. I didn't see it when it came out. I wasn't buying into the hype. You know, everything that I read was that it, it was a ripoff movie of uh, a couple of Scorsese films, you know, um, The Comedian and and uh, Robert De Niro's Taxi Driver and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, originally, like, Scorsese was attached to direct, but then he stepped away. Um, <clears throat> and look, I only watched this movie because we picked it up at Redbox, because after the Oscars, Joaquin Phoenix, I'm a pescatarian, I don't eat meat, and I don't do dairy, so um, he had an impassioned speech. And I have to say, it motivated me to finally break down and go watch Joker in support of him. Now, I didn't say I like the subject matter yet, I'll get right into that, but I think he had a great message, um, and, and that we need to um, back off on all of the mass production of food and how we're not compassionate and we just rape the planet for its natural resources and uh, we do horrible things as human beings. So uh, when we don't have to, we can make a choice to eat something different. That's just the way it goes. All right, I'm off my pedestal there, but let's get back to Joker. So <clears throat> I watched it. I thought the cinematography was absolutely gorgeous. Almost every single frame looked like a painting. It was beautiful. Uh... Joaquin Phoenix definitely deserved his Oscar. I mean, he lost 65 pounds for that role. You know, he pulled a Christian Bale machinist, although I think he lost more weight for the machinist. Uh, his interpretation of this character, Arthur Flick, was uh, uh, amazing. Um, I, I, His laugh was a little off to me. It didn't feel like the Joker that we know, either from the animated series or Mark Hamill or... Arkham Asylum or uh, the 60s Batman show. It's a, It was always this over-the-top psychotic heckling where this was this because uh, he had that condition that made him laugh and, 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 and you know, do his, <laughs> you know, it, it, it felt a little weird to me. Um, uh, I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the movie as a whole. And I felt like it ended perfectly uh, to be uh, for them to make a sequel to this movie and include Batman. And, you know, I know like it's like supposed to be a standalone in its own universe. And um, I know they made, you know, see, I don't I, one of the reasons why I stayed away from this movie was because I don't really talk about actors too much, especially ones I've worked with on films. But Brett Cullen, who played Thomas Wayne, I'm not a fan of. I I, I worked on a movie and uh, he was just a, he was just a jerk, and uh, I didn't like him as a person. So, I wasn't too fond of like seeing him in this role. Um, uh, he already played a character in Christopher Nolan's uh, The Dark Knight Rises, I believe it was, and uh, I, I hated seeing him in that movie too. Why they kept bringing him back for Batman movies is beyond me. Um, but, uh, anyway, he played Thomas Wayne and he played a really crappy version of Thomas Wayne. Uh, but I guess it's like a sign of the times, uh, that we're in now that, um, ultra rich billionaires can't be good people, um, on screen where if you looked at the Christopher Nolan universe, just so many years ago, not too many years ago, uh, Thomas Wayne was this compassionate guy that wanted to help his city and, you know, said beautiful lines like, you know, when you, the reason we fall down is is because, you know, we have to get back up. And it's like these moral lessons and stuff. And so I, I liked that Thomas Wayne. I wasn't into this Thomas Wayne. I know like there was never there was kind of some clarification that um, uh, I think uh, uh, Arthur Flick's mother worked for uh, Thomas Wayne, whether a maid or something like that within uh, uh within Wayne Manor or just worked for the company in general. And she kept thinking cause she was psychotic and had these episodes that uh, Thomas Wayne was the father of Arthur and never told him. And, but he was adopted and all this kind of stuff. And then he finds out that uh, Thomas Wayne, he thinks Thomas Wayne is his 
father. So he goes and he sees sees him, and it, it, that goes south, and and Thomas Wayne punches him in the face, which to me, like, it felt like there was no again, like this was not the Thomas Wayne we, you know we liked and appreciated. I got the whole young Bruce Wayne thing. And I think like the dynamic can work between both of them being a younger Robert Pattinson, Batman. Uh, and then the Joaquin Phoenix could play an older Joker, uh, because he would be about 10, 12, 13 years, maybe older than, uh, um, than Bruce. So by the time Bruce is in his twenties, uh, Joker would be in his forties and that, that could work. I could see that. But the one question I, I thought was, does Joaquin Phoenix really want to lose 65 pounds again? Because if you saw him at the Oscars, he had, um, uh, he had his, uh, his full weight back and he looked healthy. He didn't look, uh, like an anorexic starved psychotic person. So would he really want to go back to doing that again? I, I don't think so. I, I, Um, But we'll see, because I think they did green light a sequel. Um, At least that's what I read in the trades. So overall, I liked Joker. Um, I think it deserved all the accolades that it did. I thought it was a Debbie Downer. And um, again, I go back to like my original rant video that I did on this movie, where I said I wasn't going to see it and, 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 and basically didn't see it in the theater and waited uh, until Oscar after the Oscars to see it, got it in red box. And, you know, I like my Joker with Batman. That's just the way it is. I just, I like my Joker with Batman. I feel like that yin and yang need to be there, uh, in order for me to enjoy the, the dynamic. Uh, I, I like the idea in, uh, Nolan's universe that, you never knew anything really about the Joker because every time he, every time he told the story about those scars, it was different. You know, let me tell you how I got these scars. And you didn't know if he was telling the truth about the dad, telling the truth about watching, you know, his father stick the knife in. And, and, and so there was always, it always left the Joker as a complete mystery. And I think even though in the comic books they have explained different versions of Joker, I feel like for me on a, on the cinematic level, um, storytelling level, they should have just always left Joker the mystery. Like, why do we ever really want to know where these people come from and what made them who they are? You know, um, but we have the movie now and uh, I thought it was good. It's not my favorite Um, but I love Joaquin Phoenix now. So, uh, more than I ever did before and I support, uh, his message. So that's my thoughts on Joker. What did you think about Joker? Tell me what I'm missing. Let's talk about it in the comments section and we'll see you on the next one.